This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson. We're selling this truck. It is a 2004 Ford F350 Crew Cab 6.0 turbo diesel 4x4. It's a long bed. Um, has the FX4 suspension package. Has 155,000 actual miles. It is a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company. And lately we've had a run of very, very good fortune. Uh, they're selling this on a clear title. Very unusual. Um, it usually shows they have a lot of confidence in the vehicle. Um, the insurance company does, and they're not too worried about liability issues. Uh, they are usually they'll throw a brand new Lamborghini under the bus and give it a salvage title. So uh, the other thing that's uh, a great indicator of the value of this vehicle is whoever had it stolen put a brand new set of tires on it right before it was stolen because we did not put these tires on it. And usually people don't spend a thousand dollars in tires unless they like the truck. <laughs> so we'll start there. Uh, my job also is to point out the negatives. The negatives are clearly the cosmetics. It's got dings and scratches pretty much all over the place. Um, so don't buy this if you want to show off. Buy it if you want a good running truck with tires that have another 30,000 miles on them. Uh, decent looking interior. And that's what you got. Now you can see that these are brand new tires. We did have to put a new AC compressor in it. Um, the clutch was going out, it was making a bunch of noise. Um, it still worked, but uh, not, uh, not the way you want it to work uh, without that noise. That noise was hideous, so we, we did that. Uh, big deep scratch here. A little push in here, you can see where it kind of nicked this. They probably pulled that out. We didn't do any of this stuff. We didn't. We don't touch the uh, cosmetics. Um, we want you to see what we saw. And uh, the right truck will find the right guy. I picture this being, you know, somebody who wants to have an extra vehicle to tow trailers with or, uh, you know, work out of, you know, a work truck or something where you don't have to worry about dinging it up. Um, it's gonna get dinged up uh, just because it's such a big truck. And so you got a pre-dinged truck, which is a nice thing. <laughs> We've already got those dings done for you. I mean, a couple here, but I'll still kind of show you the, the highlights here of the dings. I'll scratch there, a little touch-up paint would be helpful. We notice here on the fender right here, for some reason they must have probably rolled over a curb or something. The curb went up and bashed that fender. I mean, I didn't notice it until you know, after it came back from detail. Uh, you could probably unbolt that felt, uh, that, that fender and knock that out if you wanted to, but you know, this is not what we're doing here. It's, uh, to me, it's, that would be kind of a waste of time. You know, it's just got a little tiny rock chips. This looks like it spent a lot of time on, uh, on the highway. The way it runs and drives, um, I would say a lot of highway miles. Stuff here here the top of the bed usually long beds they'll do a lot of towing and and uh, the beds are always beat up pretty good so this isn't too unusual but there's your there's your good sign here that the tires are uh, brand new indicates somebody liked them he said this is a hundred and fifty five thousand mile truck uh, on a clear title it came in without a tailgate, um, so they probably stole the uh, louver tailgate that was on it. You see the bumpers kind of dinged up. Also, how many times have they backed into their hitch? <laughs> you know, um, it's got a rollover ball. I pulled that out so you could see that it was there. And you also have a light plug there. Um, there's your spare. That spare looks very high tread. I don't know if that's a new tire or not but uh, it looks very new. Um, very high tread so it probably is a new one. Anyway, there's your light package. Passenger side of this truck looks quite a bit better than the, than the passenger side bed but uh, there's still some nicks in it. Like I said this is not if you're buying it to be a show off truck uh, it's gonna be very disappointing <laughs> so so just buy it 
uh, to work with, to tow your toys, um, give to your kids that, uh, you know, you don't want to be angry when they back into something. There's a ding there. Let me see. Let me open the hood here real quick. I think I saw a couple dings in this. There's a couple door dings here and here and here. We do have to, uh, we still haven't done it yet. We do have to replace the ignition and the door lock cylinder. That's how they broke into the truck and how they got it started. So we're replacing those, but that has yet to be done. It will be done today, probably before it ever gets listed online. There's your Ford emblem uh, for the uh, passenger fender. That's good to know. Uh, it tells you that these, this thing hasn't been wrecked in the front end. The original parts are there. There's your Ford emblem on the core support. Also a very, very strong indicator that nothing's ever happened to the front end of this truck. There's the Ford stamp there on the driver core support. And there's the Ford stamp on the passenger fender. There's your motor. Everything's there. Let me uh, better look at the roof real quick here. Okay. There's your roof. Nothing really to report. There's your bed. Okay, let's see. Back seat. Door panel. Back seat looks great. Um, very, very nice looking back seat. Pretty, pretty common though for a, for a crew cab diesel trucks. Very rarely do they have a lot of people in the back. So the carpet and the rear seat look fantastic. Door panel looks good. Okay, this is not a DVD player. I, I, I've never, I haven't <laughs> seen one of these old school units in a long time. That's only a TV set, believe it or not. Uh, I don't know if you can hook adapt it to a DVD player, but it's just a TV set. And it's got a little tuner antenna sitting on top of the dash. I'll show you in just a second when I start this thing. But it's really strange. It's got, and it only plays through headphones. And there's four sets of headphones for it. So at some point, I, I've seen, I, we've been able to tune in a couple stations, TV stations, but they're mostly uh, Mexican spa, uh, stations. Uh, probably because of the signal that is being sent out now in HD. So I don't know how valuable that is, but I don't want people thinking that's a DVD player because it's not. There's your power seat. That works. That tilts up. That tilts down. That tilts down. And the seat works fine. All right. Let's hop in here and check this guy out. Oh, you know what? I do remember seeing a, like, a repair or something of the seat somewhere. I just want to make sure that we, yeah, here's a repair. Uh, one of our guys, our repair, uh, seat repair guy, put a repair right here and right here. I just want to make sure that everyone knows what they're buying here. Uh, we never get screamed at because we don't have secrets here. <laughs> so that's the, uh, the goal of this whole thing. That's the passenger seat. I don't see any any work on that seat at all. All right, let's fire this guy up. Oh, there we go. All righty then. Let's run through some windows. Driver window. Yes, that works fine. Driver rear window. Yes. Okay, let's see, and that would be the passenger front window. Yes. Passenger rear window. Yes. Okay, that's good. Let's see. And it is, you can hear that on the video, but we are blowing it. Cup holder. Let's see if the sliding rear window works. And it does. 
Let's try the rear parking sensors before we do anything here. Because that bumper was kind of dinged up and they were very sensitive to that stuff. So, And the answer is no. That's not unusual at all. I'll bet you of all the trucks I have here, uh, with, in fact I know that one right there has parking sensors and they don't work either. <laughs> and that King Ranch Dually, they don't work either. Um, I don't know what that's about. But maybe I had them off. Let's try it again. I doubt it. Nope, they don't work. All right, so we have non-functional rear parking sensors, um, which is about as common as it gets. And we're not going to fix them because if we fix them, they'll be they'll break on their own in a day. It's bizarre. Anyway, let me put it in park here. There's the gauges, uh, 155,366 miles. We had this thing running all day yesterday. Uh, it was 105 and it was really humid yesterday. We always let them run that long to see if they overheat or they have any leaks at all. And this thing didn't and ran great. Um, it's got a steering wheel cover on it. Let me see, see underneath it. So that's probably why, it's probably yucky try to answer all your questions here, be anticipating your questions. Put that in there, let me put it in low. Alright, there's four wheel drive. Let's put it in drive, and that's definitely four low. Very low speed, lots of, lots of torque. Put it in reverse. Perfect. Alright, let's go to four high. Now we're in four high, let's put it in drive. Yeah, and you can drive at speed in that for sure. We put it in reverse, and we're good. All right, let's go for a ride. Put it in park. Let me put it in, yeah, put it in two wheel drive, I mean. Put it in drive. Okay, this thing's being sold on a salvage title. Let me tilt the wheel down. So, I've been mean, sorry, on a clear title. It's being sold on a clear title. I'm used to salvage title, so I always say that instinctively. But it's being sold in the clear title, so if you come to Tucson, all you're going to pay is tax uh, plus a $250 dock fee. Tax is 2% city tax here in Tucson plus whatever your state take, state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is zero, like Oregon or Alaska, you're going to pay 2% tax plus $250 dock fee, and you're going to drive home. We'll give you a 90-day permit to drive home, 90-day plate. Um, if you... Uh, are in a 6%, say your state tax rate is 6%, you're going to pay 8% tax on that $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, you're going to pay uh, just the agreed upon price, period. No dock fee, no tax, nothing. Just ship it. We have a suggested shipper, Fred, uh, with Beacon Shipping Logistics. He's a really good guy. Um, his number is right in the middle of our ad. You might want to call him even before you make an offer so you know what it's going to cost. And that's that. Um, we jump on it here. Runs great. Uh, there is a reason the guy put a brand new set of tires on it. Um, it's a little uh, dinged up and ugly, but it's a truck, and uh, it runs great. Uh, new compressor, uh, brand new tires, parking sensors don't work. You know what I didn't check? I didn't check the, the radio. And the answer is, it works. All right. There. That works. It's a six disc changer. Let me go from standing start here. See how long it takes to get uh, 10,000 pounds rolling here. That thing runs good. This is a 25 mile an hour zone, so I better chill out here. But uh, it uh, runs and drives great. Um, thanks for uh, watching this. Uh, please get your bids in. Make sure you get your deposit in. We don't have a done deal. We don't have a, any, any agreement whatsoever without a uh, deposit. Thank you very much. Have a great week and great weekend.